Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to your football predictions. So, yeah, it's international weekend again. It feels like two seconds ago we had the last one. I know everyone's not always a massive fan of it, but we are going to do some predictions for the international games this weekend. But to start things off, we'll look at my Premier League scores from the weekend. It actually did alright. For a change. Um, I said that Tottenham would win, not quite 4-0. I said 2-0, but correct outcome. Um, I said that Bournemouth and Leicester would draw 1-1. It was actually 0-0, so I technically did alright with that as well. I said that Chelsea would beat Man City. They didn't. Man City won 1-0. That was a good game. Um, and yeah, Newcastle won, Liverpool won. That was my correct score this week. Very happy about that draw. So, um, loads of you guys commented as always, so thank you for all getting involved. Three people got two correct scores, so we have three winners this week. Um, we've got Abed, Porco and Dan. So all these guys got two correct scores. Abed had uh, Bournemouth 0-0, Newcastle Liverpool 1-1. Porco had 4-0 Spurs and then 1-1 Newcastle Liverpool. And Dan had the same. 4-0 Spurs, 1-1 Liverpool, Newcastle. So big up to these three guys. I've put all of their channel uh, links in the description. Make sure you go and subscribe to them. I have already subscribed to all three of them. And yeah... Let's get on to our international predictions for the weekend. So the international weekend technically starts, is it's a weekend, but it's Thursday till Tuesday. Um, England actually have a game tomorrow night on the Thursday, but I don't really want to predict it because it's not giving you guys a chance to get your comments in. So I'm just going to focus on the weekend's football. So we're going to start off with England's game on the Sunday, which is Lithuania versus England. And I've got something different planned for the next three predictions, but we'll get onto that in a second. So, England are currently top. Lithuania, uh, yeah, they, they can't qualify. Um, they're too far off the pace. England are playing um, Slovenia tomorrow night, who are currently third. Um, and to be honest, it's quite un... Is it impossible for England not to qualify? It's going to be very unlikely that we don't come top. I think we have to lose both of our games. Slovakia have to win both of their games. I think if Slovenia win both of their games and we lose both of our games, then it's drawn points. But, yeah. We just need to beat Slovenia tomorrow night. And then Lithuania, I'm hoping, will be a rotation squad to give some guys a run out. Um, I expect us to win 3-0, if not more, hopefully. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. The international weekend is fun to a degree, but... I'm hoping we should cruise this weekend pretty easily. So, yeah, 3-0 England. For the remaining games, as I mentioned, I, I mean, I couldn't really decide which games to go for, which games to not go for on the Saturday slash Sunday. Some teams have got games before on the Thursday slash Friday, and some have got additional games on the Monday and Tuesday. So, what I've done is, I've put in all of the games from the Saturday and Sunday in this ball. We're going to pick one out. We're going to go through it, um, and you never know, we might learn something today. Because other than England, I don't really watch a whole lot of international football. So we'll find out who else is in, who's going to qualify, and so on. So, yeah, let's get the first one out. Da -da -da. Okay, so the first one is Saturday, and it is Bulgaria versus France at 7.45. I'm going to go ahead, without looking at the league, and guess that France are probably pretty near the top, and that Bulgaria aren't. But I will look at that and be back with you in a second. So I was right to say that France are top because they are. But they're only one point ahead of Sweden and three points ahead of the Netherlands. So they play Bulgaria. And then after that they play another game. And that's against Belarus who are bottom of their table at the minute. Um, like I said, Bulgaria, fourth, 12 points. If they actually win against France and then they be win their next game, um, they can actually qualify so they're not in a qualifying spot but they can do it um to be honest i think france will win this game i think they'll beat um belarus um later in the week um and yeah i think they'll probably win this game two nil okay next up we have poland versus montenegro on sunday at five o'clock so 
Again, before looking, I'm going to assume that Poland are probably relatively high in the, the table and Montenegro won't be, but we'll have a look. Wow, okay, I was very wrong. Poland are top with 19 points. Montenegro are second with 16 points. Denmark are third, then Romania, Albania, Kazakhstan. So that isn't a very tough group, I must say. Um, Montenegro must have something going on that I didn't know about. Both teams actually play tomorrow night and then they play against each other on Sunday. So looking at the table, it's close between the top three. Poland, Montenegro, Denmark are on the same points as Montenegro. Um, I don't know. It's at home for Poland. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go Poland win. I don't Yeah. It's strange. I didn't think Montenegro would be so high up the table. Um if Montenegro win their game in hand, this could be a big game. Um to see who qualifies number one in the group. But I'm gonna back Poland to do it. I'm gonna go 2-0 Poland. And to finish things off, we have Um Kazakhstan versus Armenia. Okay, that's the same group as we were just looking at. That's the same Poland group. Yeah, I may as well leave it in. So this one's on the Sunday. Um, Armenia are currently fifth on six points, and Kazakhstan are currently bottom on two points. So, yeah, neither of them are qualifying. It's at Kazakhstan. Um, so maybe there's a home advantage there, but by the looks of things, they haven't done too great. They're on minus 18 goal difference at the minute. Um, yeah. Let's put a, let's put a, I don't know, yeah. Let's go 2-2. Loads of goals in the Kazakhstan-Armenia game on Sunday at 5 o'clock. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. A bit of fun pulling them out the ball there. Um, yeah, it's at the point in the World Cup qualifiers now where we're at the end of it. It's You kind of know who's going to go through. There are some close groups like that one that I just mentioned, but in general, I mean, England are like five points clear with two games to go, so... We're going to struggle. It's going to... You never know with England, to be honest. But I'll be very disappointed if we do not qualify, yeah, first. But I hope you guys do have enjoyed the video. I hope you do enjoy the football at the weekend. It's always sad without any Premier League. But yeah, as always, I will be going through your comments and shouting out the winner in next week's video, which will be Premier League football again. All right? But thank you for watching. Uh, if you do do a comment... Please drop a like on the video as well. I had loads of comments, um, and if I could get that many likes, I would really appreciate it. All right, but thank you for watching, and catch you later.